Hey TVs, it's Psychic Bob. Yay, welcome to Sunday, I tell you. It is beautiful. I'm sitting here looking out the window at the light in the sky and studying my jewelry. I thought today I would celebrate solar energy being Sunday. So I put on this cool jewelry. This is some of my these are some of my jewelry charms. Excuse me. This is a little golden pixie elf sitting on a mushroom. Isn't that great? And you see me smiling. He's got his little pointed ears. There's his little hat. I think at one point the spinda had the, the mushroom, the stalk part of it, but I think it's broken off. But anyways, he's sitting on a mushroom. And I just love this. This is an old pen. It's from the 1960s. And then I've also got this other little cool um, pendant. This is, I don't know if you guys can see, let me bring it close. This is a beautiful gemstone, a citrine that I have. Um, I thought it was a yellow diamond. It's, it actually looks like a yellow diamond, but I think it's actually citrine. But it's kind of cool. I like it because citrine is the sunstone. And for a Sunday, I thought this was great. A little golden pixie elf and a beautiful citrine. Isn't that great? So anyways, I'm wearing those today, and I got on my sun shirt. How you like that? It's like if I was in a solar mood. You know, yesterday was Saturday, and it rained all day. And, you know, I don't complain. I like the rain, and we have to have rain. But today, it looks like the skies are clearing, and we're starting to get some sun. So that's kind of cool. So I said, I'm going to celebrate. I got on my solar shirt here. got on my, my golden charms, and I'm just feeling it. Anyways, you know, spring is here. We just had Ostara and Beltane will soon be here. And I'm telling you, you know, the wheel of the year is turning. But, uh, you know, I thought today I just, you know, a lot of you been writing me, said, Psyche Bob, we want to go on a walk. We want to have an adventure. So we're going to go out today. I think we'll go see if there are any signs of the Fae. You know, sometimes I see little things that look like Fae have been there. We might see some fairy rings out there. I don't know what we'll find. But I thought we'd go and have a little adventure today. Does that sound good to you guys? All right. Well, oh, before we do that, though, let me just tell you. Um, uh, yesterday, yesterday, I want to say thank you. Thank you to all of you who came up to yesterday's video. We had our Saturday night seance. And I tell you, it was really something. Uh, you know, my spirit guide, Alfred, he said a profound soul. He came through and he talked about life on other planets. Uh, so it's really interesting to hear the spirits even talk about this. So if you're interested in, in uh, that and you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It's in the video queue right before this one. Okay. Well, you guys are wonderful. You know, I have to tell you, I have just been so you know, attuning to the spirit of the cosmos. So yesterday with the rain, you know, I had a lot of readings. But but in between readings, I did get out and just walk in the rain a little bit. It was very refreshing. Rain is very rejuvenate, cleanses the air, cleanses the earth, cleanses us, you know. So anyways, I've been, been doing some meditation. Yesterday was a good contemplation day with that rain. Today with this sun, I tell you, I'm feeling it. Anyways, you know, I've been working on this book I'm reading. This is a cool book. I don't know if you guys have read this, but I recommend this book. It's called uh, Solitary Wicca for Life, and it's by Erin Murphy Hiscock. And I like her writing. She writes a number of books. She wrote that other book I told you about, Hedge Witch. Anyways, I don't have it here, but she's a great author. And this is published by, who is this one published by? Uh, Providence Press. Uh, but she also writes for Llewellyn, too, I believe. But this is called Solitary Wicca for Life. And it says, A Complete Guide to Mastering the Craft on Your Own. Uh, this is a really great book. A lot of us here that are spiritual are Wiccans, but we're solitary. Um, you don't have to just let your practice be boring or lonely. This book helps go to the depth of you know, how you practice. It gives you challenges. I really like it. So... I just wanted to tell you, I'm working on reading, and I'm going to talk about it more later, but I thought today, you know, we just go out and see what the world has to offer. So why don't you just join me and come on along. Hey, TVs, it's Psychic Bob. Well, here we are. We're out. It's still a little overcast today, but it's looking nice. Nice, cool air. I decided to take my girl Gigi out for a walk today. 
So she's she's traveling with us. It's gonna be a good day. Louie said he wanted to stay home and watch the ball game or something, I guess. I don't know. But I'm out walking GG, having a great day. Anyways, let's walk along and see what there is to see. As you can see here, we got some beautiful spring flowers growing. And wherever you see fresh flowers, that's usually a place where you can watch for the fae, the fairy people. There are spirits of nature that help tend to the gardens. And if you look, you just might see one. You know, when I was a kid, I used to love to go play in the grass and I always knew spring was here because of the beautiful little flowers. Here we've got some beautiful dandelions. Isn't that beautiful? And these are the little dandelion pods here. I used to like to pick these up and blow them in the wind. This is how the seeds scatter. Over here we have some beautiful buttercup flowers. Aren't these pretty? These are a sign of good luck. I don't know if it's true. Maybe somebody, some of you study biology can tell me. But I've heard these are actually related to the periwinkles, the purple flower. And looking at the leaf structure, it's got the five-petaled leaf, which is a sign of the pentagram. And its size and shape is similar. So I don't know. Maybe some of you can tell me if the buttercup is um, a relative of the periwinkle flower. Really beautiful. These are really wonderful signs of spring. Over here we have our honeysuckle. Oh, I can smell it. Do you guys like honeysuckle? I am crazy about the smell of honeysuckle. Well, it looks like spring is definitely here. <laughs> I tell you, I love to be in nature. I feel connected to Mother Earth, the Father Sky. Look at our sky. It's a little overcast again, but it is beautiful nonetheless. And as I'm walking along, I see this beautiful tree here reaching up to the sky. There's our Father Sun looking high in the sky. And as I walk along, you know, I feel a little sad for this tree because its roots are reaching down into the earth and right over here to this tributary of water. This is Holmes Run. It's a little creek near my home. But you know, people have to stop. If you want to connect to the Fae, you want to honor all life. And so this tree, whenever you're walking, you see the roots, don't just walk on them. Step over them gently so as not to injure the tree. As you can see, I'm walking along, I'm not stepping on the roots. Just gently step over the roots. We have to respect the trees. The trees bring life to the planet. If all the trees died, we'd have no oxygen on this planet and it would become a barren wasteland. I love walking in the park. It's so beautiful. Over here we have our kiosk. This is a kind of a community bulletin board. I like to put business cards up here. Uh, I tend to get a lot of business from this. You see some other people have put their cards up. Here's professional pet care services. Here's our park cleanup, Saturday, April 29th. I wish I could be there. I'm going to be out of town, but that would be a great thing to go to. Here's our little welcome to Holmes Run Park. Here's the police department, crime prevention. Anyways, here's one of my business cards. I think I'll just tuck it up right here. And there you go. There's my card. You see... 
keep life simple. Oh, I know we have this modern internet and all that, and I'm not against that. But sometimes there's nothing like just a simple printed card. And I think that's an easy way to do business. It is really beautiful here today. Look at the beautiful trees. I tell you, this is truly the dwelling place of the Fae. Hey, Tubies. Well, we're passing the great grandmother tree. This is a tree here in our park that is over 300 years old. Is that amazing or what? They put a fence around it to protect it. And it even has lightning rods on it. Isn't that amazing? This tree has seen so much history. It reaches high into the sky. Hail, great grandmother tree. Give us your blessing, and we are truly blessed. So mote it be. I love that tree. It's sacred to me. Uh, Tubies, I just ran up on something that really does my heart good. There's a new sign here that I wanted to show you. This is why I love living in the city of Alexandria. Because the people in Alexandria understand that we have to conserve the earth. You know, we just had Earth Day yesterday. And uh, I don't know, maybe they put this up as part of Earth Day. But I've never seen this sign here. And it says, why is the grass taller here? Okay, as you can see, the grass is tall all the, on both sides here. It says, limited mozo. And it says bullet points, increasing habitat for insects and wildlife, saving energy and cost while reducing carbon emissions by limiting the use of mowing equipment, promoting sustainable landscapes, encouraging native plant growth, and providing an environment for observation. This is placed up by the city of Alexandria so it's City of Alexander Department of Recreation, Parks, and Cultural Activities. That is really amazing. They must have just put that up for Earth Day. Yes, sir. I've never seen that sign, but I really, really like that. I'm going to take my picture by this sign because nobody will believe it unless they see it. But I'm actually here with this sign in Alexandria at the park, and it's 100% real. Isn't that awesome? <sighs> Well, Second Bob's getting hungry. Let's go have some lunch. Come on along. Well, here I am walking through Exxon. I'm not a big fan of these oil corporations. You see, I know that Nikola Tesla said we could create free energy. So all of this, this Exxon, all of this, this is all part of the New World Order to control people. Energy is a basic right and should be free. My belief. Oh, look, there's Dunkin' Donuts. Mmm, that's good. We might have to go there later. Ah, I love to go out on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Oh, Tubies, look at this. This is great. Here's our local Geico office here at the shopping center. Look here. I love the lizard. Or gecko, actually. I think he's a gecko. Gecko Geico. Isn't that cute? Here's me hanging with Mr. Geico, Mr. Gecko Geico. <laughs> okay, Seggy Bob's crazy, but I sure have a good time. Here's our florist shop. Oh, there's Pier One, guys. You know I'm crazy about Pier One. Oh, they're having a sale. Outdoor section. Oh, I don't have a yard, so I guess I won't buy that. Well, that's beautiful. Look at that. All reed diffusers, reed diffuser oil refills, and three wick filled candles. Two for $25. Well, I have to check that out later. What do you think? Well, let's cruise along. Second Bob needs to eat something today before he passes out of starvation. Oh, well, here I am at my favorite restaurant. I got Gigi here with me. She's resting. Get ready for some lunch. What do you want for lunch, Gigi? What do Gucci bags eat? 
Probably just money, really. Mmm, this is so good. I'm sipping my iced tea. I love it. You know, I'm just sitting and relaxing, waiting for my food, and I'm working on this book. I shared this to you guys earlier. It's called Solitary Wicca for Life. Isn't that a cool cover? Look at the priestess. And she's calling up to the heavens and rays of light are coming down. One of the things that they're talking about in this book, which I think is really interesting, is they talk about getting to know your tools. And they said that most people think of their Wiccan tools as like the athame and the chalice. But she said, do you ever consider that your altar is also a tool? I never really thought about that. You know, I mean, I set up an altar and I take care of it. But she said, talks about how you should like use your altar as an absorption of energy at the end of ritual. She says, take that excess energy and put it into the altar. Or she said, or if you have a temporary altar, put it into a stone that you keep on your altar. I really like that. Well, I have permanent altars because, you know, I live by myself, so I can I can keep my altars up. So I'm going to work on putting power into the altar and view it as a tool. I've used it as a working space and viewed it as such. But to use it as a tool, now that's an interesting idea. So our altar could be a source of power. I mean, I think it already is, but in a much more conscious way. I like that idea. I'm going to think about that. Well, I tell you guys, this is a great book. I recommend it. I'm going to sip my tea here. Mm -mm. Don't you love a good southern sweet tea? I do. Ooh, Tubies, look what's arrived. I got a crisp, delicious salad here. Look at that. Say goodbye. I was trying to eat healthy. All greens. And I got a delicious honey mustard sauce. Yum, yum, yum. Well, I think I'm going to like this. This looks awesome. Mmm, mmm, Chubby's. Doesn't that look good? Look at that cucumber. A little sauce on it here. One of my fork. Mm. Mm. Awesome. Really good. Now y'all take notes. Say Bob's eating healthy for once. This is a miracle, isn't it? <laughs> Yum. I thought a great way to celebrate Earth Day would be trying to, you know, be more gentle to my body as well and eat healthier things. Ah, Tubies, that was a good lunch. I tell you, I feel so good. Oh, look at these. These are cool looking Versace glasses. That's kind of posh. She's a cute girl. There's Oakley. I think they carry Ray-Ban shades here too. I like Ray-Bans. I liked them better than when they were made in the USA. They're made in Italy now. That's nice, but the American ones, if you compare them, were better made. My personal opinion. Anyways, I tell you, I'm having such a good day. I have to do something that I'm dreading, though. I have to go to CVS. I don't know if I should risk ruining a day, but I really do need to go. I need to buy some shampoo and different things like that. So I guess we'll maybe go to CVS. Oh, Lord. Oh, Tubies, here's Pier 1. I think I'm going to resist temptation and not shop today. I love this furniture picture, though. I wish I had a beach house in Malibu with a big deck. I'd have that type of furniture. Oh, look at this little frog. Is that cute? Can you guys see that? It's a little frog doing yoga. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, oh, look, Tubies, what do I spy? Look in the mirror picture here. There's Psyche Bob in the mirror. There I am filming. <laughs> Hi, Tubies. Psyche Bob in the mirror. <laughs> well, see, I got inside Pier 1. I'm in the mirror. That's probably just as well. I don't need to be spending more money. Except we are going to have to go to CVS today. And you know that's always an adventure. So keep your fingers crossed, say a prayer, and hope we get through that drama. <laughs> 
the tubies talking about CVS must have brought a curse on me. I was walking along and Gigi fell and hit the ground. Looks like the strap on my Gucci bag broke. Now the strap itself is not a Gucci strap because we know that a Gucci strap would never break. But anyways, I have to carry Gigi by her handles. But that's okay. At least she's okay. She didn't get hurt. I tell you, I think I'm just going to go to Gucci and buy a strap. And I'm not going to take it anywhere near CVS. Gucci was, I think Gigi was trying to escape going to CVS. She might have broke off her strap. Now, anyways, let's go on and see what there is down there. Hey, Tubies, it's Bob. Well, listen, I got into CVS and I got out no drama. It was a smooth trip. I bought some stuff I need, some snacks for the afternoon, and I'm on my way home. Unfortunately, I couldn't film inside the store because since my bag on, my strap on my bag broke, um, I had to hold my bag and I couldn't shop, film, and hold everything at the same time. So, anyways, just know Psyche Bob got in, got out, and we're on our way home. So, let's cruise So, along. I guess the drama of the day was that my bag strap broke from my Gucci bag and I couldn't film in CVS. But it always seems to be that if I don't film in CVS, I have a good experience. So maybe the universe was protecting me today because it made me so I couldn't film at CVS and that way I didn't have any drama or trauma. I don't know, just something to think about. Well, let's cruise on along. Well, Tubies, I tell you, I've had such a good day. I'm so glad you came along on this walk. You know, it's good just to get out and tune to the earth. I've enjoyed seeing the plants. I haven't seen any fade today, but that's okay. We may see them in a future video. But anyways, listen, I want to tell you thank you for being here at Spirit Channel. Um, you know, I hope you'll like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends. And if you can, hit subscribe, be part of our channel. We'd sure love you to be here. Well, guys, I will be back here tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. We've got Monday horoscopes. Uh, so we're going to cover all 12 zodiac signs. And you guys want to be here for that. It will be an awesome time. Until then, I hope your day is blessed. I hope you have a wonderful time. And may you always blessed be.